Amazing Kids, news about kids around the world and the amazing things they do. November 2013, Volume 3, Issue 1. Never Say Never. Never Say Never. This is a quotation that Connor Long lives by. Connor is a young boy who has two great loves, sports and his younger brother, Caden. Connor always wished Caden could play sports with him, but Caden has cerebral palsy, a movement disorder. As a result, he is unable to walk and talk without help. Caden uses a wheelchair to move around and he communicates using sign language. Connor thought they might not even be able to play sports together, but that all changed in the spring of 2011 when Connor, age seven at the time, saw an advertisement for the Nashville Kids Triathlon. Getting ready. A triathlon is a sporting event in which athletes swim, bike, and run. When Connor saw the advertisement, he knew right then that he wanted to participate and he wanted Caden to participate with him. The boy's mother talked to race officials about Connor's idea. The request was unusual because children who have special needs usually compete in triathlons with the help of a parent. However, the race officials allowed the boys to compete together. The next step was to find a coach who could help the boys prepare for the triathlon. The boy's mother contacted Mandy Gildersleeve. Coach Gildersleeve had trained children with special needs before. She helped Connor and Caden get the special equipment they would need. Then she focused on working with Connor to help him become stronger. The big day. The boy's first triathlon began with a swim. Connor entered the swimming pool. Then he pulled Caden on a raft behind him for the 100 yard swim. Connor held the rope in one hand and paddled with the other. Caden smiled and laughed the whole way. Next came the biking part of the race. Connor rode his bike for three miles. At first, Gildersleeve raced alongside Connor, pulling Caden in a special trailer behind her bike. Connor did not like this situation. Connor wanted to pull Caden himself, and Caden wanted to be with Connor. After the last large hill, Gildersleeve attached the trailer to Connor's bike so he could pull Caden himself. After that, he just took off, Gildersleeve said. The final part of the race was the run. Connor ran while he pushed Caden's trailer the entire half mile. The boys completed the race in 43 minutes, 10 seconds. Connor was thrilled when they finished. Later, he told reporters, Everybody wants to win, but it's not all about winning. Really, it's all about fun. More races. The Nashville Kids Triathlon was just the beginning. Connor and Caden have completed 14 more races since then, and the brothers hope to continue to race together. There is a picture of Connor and Caden in the 2011 Nashville Kids Triathlon. The other picture shows Caden as he rides in a bicycle trailer as Connor pedals. Page 15. 
Both boys take great pleasure in being involved in the events, but the family needs to plan in order for the boys to continue racing together. As Caden grows older and bigger, his equipment will need to grow too. The Longs participate in fundraising events to raise money for Caden's equipment. Connor and Caden want to someday participate in the Ironman World Championship competition in Kona, Hawaii. It is one of the most difficult races in the world. They will be grown men when they are old enough to compete. Until then, all the races the boys participate in over the years will help prepare them for it. In 2012, a sports magazine named Connor and Caden, Sports Kids of the Year, the boys' experience certainly shows what can happen when you never say never. There is a picture. Connor and Caden cross the finish line.